Hello guys, welcome back to TCC Transit Fan here. I'll be showing you today how you can uninstall a future update if you don't like it or if you have issues with your PC. So I'll show you that tutorial guide today. The reason why I'm going to show you today, I want to uninstall the future update because this is not my favorite operating system. And if you go to Winver here, it says it's in the latest version. If you don't like it, here's what you're going to do. And I will be showing because I don't like 22H2. I just want 1709 back. Sorry, my computer updated, but I'll show you today. So I'm going to start menu. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to press power and then I'm going to press restart, hold the shift key. Then it's just press troubleshoot now, press advanced options and then press uninstall updates because I want to uninstall the future update. So I'm going to click on uninstall future update. So It's going to boot up again. Second time it's going to boot up. It's restarting. It's just booting up. Now. My thing's booting up. And now you're going to see here. I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to enter the password. I'm gonna lose batteries, so I don't know. And then I, I, I wanna uninstall, so I'm gonna click here. It won't get into any issues because this, because I just updated today and now it's just, so it's go, is working. And now it's just restarting and it's gonna boot up again. You're gonna see here, you're gonna see the watch the laptop boot. Watch this boot. Here we go. The laptop is booting. It's just restarting the second time. It's uh, sorry, two to three times now. Look at that. My cursor is a little bit different. It's restoring your previous version of Windows. Just a second. Will my brightness even work? No, my brightness doesn't work. I'm going to lose uh, batteries, so I'll resume when this is done. Just saying, restoring your previous version of Windows. Focus camera. You can see it says restoring your re previous version of Windows. This won't take long if you have a new PC. If, you're ha if you have a new laptop, if you're going to the previous version of Windows, um, if you're using a new computer, you need PC, the faster it will take. It's gonna take like 10 to 15 minutes for um, to uninstall the update or go back to previous version. If you have a new PC, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. But if you're using your old PC or, or a laptop, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer. It can take like 30 to 45 minutes to uninstall the update. It depends how old your RAM is. But because this is a new laptop, so it won't, I hope, so hopefully this, this doesn't take that long. Just a second. Last time, um, when I was uninstalling the update on my old Asus laptop, actually, it actually took like 45 minutes to uninstall. And I did this also yesterday, and it actually took like 10 minutes to uninstall or 10 to 15 minutes to uninstall on this computer yesterday but because this is a new hp laptop it will be a little bit faster old aces laptop right here i'll show you in a second my old aces laptop right here i'll show you my old aces laptop and look right look right here look right <sighs> Look at my Ace's laptop right here. Let's 
see my old Ace's laptop is right there. Old Ace is right here. It's just that took a long time to uninstall the update. Um, I don't want to show my reflection. So this Ace's laptop right here took a long time to uninstall the update because it's an old laptop. It came out in 2013. As you can see, that was the old Windows 10 logo. Oh, sorry, no, this came out in Windows 8. Actually, don't look at my face. Um, here, you you can just see normal. Uh, I just wanted to show you something. This one is a new HP laptops. So, yes, it's already restarting. The How long did it take for the Aces laptop to uninstall the update? I will tell you. 45 minutes because it's a very old laptop. It actually came out as Windows 8 in 2013 and it took, I don't, I don't like that. It used to take a while. My God, my brightness is, look at my brightness. So my laptop. It's still, it's so booting. Um, just, uh, I don't know my brightness is here, but I can control the brightness this time. I can either have the brightness up or I can put this down to like a normal screen, as you can see, like usual. Usually it's this dark, as you can see, no brightness. During the boot, uh, but this one is half actually. Um, I can see the boot. Look at that boot, as you can see. Look at that boot. Do you love that boot? As you can see, it's light. I see the light shooting right here. The light is shooting on my computer. I, I can turn it off if I want, I can lower the light. I could shut it off or I can turn it on again. As you can see, you can have it off or I can have it on. <laughs> Very cool, as you can see. Oh, okay, so now we're back. So we're gonna be logging on to the previous um, account. And then I'm gonna play on enter. Now, as you can see, I am actually on the uh, the oldest version of Windows 10. Let me delete these edges right here. Um, let's click on delete on this and let's um, go to here and let's hit on delete on this. Then let's put the old etched link on here and let's put this to here as it was before. And the, uh, now, as you can see, on my other videos, you can see that I used to say speakers were like a audio, but instead, because this is an older version of Windows 10, because now it says speakers high definition audio device. This is set up on my PC, on my newer version. The old one said Relic, which was very loud. Screaming, PC, and never happened before. Look how loud it is. It's louder than it was before. My brightness, I can control here if I want. Brightness is uh, low. Look at my brightness, actually. As you can see, my favorite Windows 10 shooting logo. I love the light here. I love a beautiful light here. I love this light here. I love here, 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 here. Here, here, all around the wallpaper. This wallpaper is so sweet. I'm gonna place the battery to here, and it's fully it's fully charged now. It's on 100, but to fully fix this, let's uh, restart the computer and finally it's restarting again. And make sure you check your Windows update after you do this, and then check your WinVer, and then you're good to use it. This is so hard for people. These things are hidden. 
I can't it's booting up. I see the light right here. I see the light shooting right here. Love the how the light shooting right here. Already it's re it's already restarted. It's completely done. It's saying please wait and I actually did it before. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna click on enter and look how it took one second like before. So next, check your Windows update. Go to settings on the start menu, go to notifications and then click on settings. Then click update and security. Check here and it, mine says the last of this feature update Windows 10 is ready to install. It's been waiting to kick you off these improvements how Windows 10 runs smoothly with security. Select this option to kick it off. The reason why this will show you a warning because it really wants you to update. This has been happening like two times now. And I don't know because it forces you to update even though you uninstall it, which is an issue. It's even happened like two to three times on this computer after I installed 17.9. So make sure you check Winver. So I'm going to go to Winver. Oh, 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 not waves. Press enter and then C minus 1709 says 2017 Microsoft Cool Vision. All right, reserved. Ah, I lost storage. Oh my God. Sorry, my video paused and I had to start it again because I lost storage on my computer, on my iPad, so. If you if you t even type in if you go to about Windows, I'm sorry. If you go to about Windows, sorry, it won't take you to the about Windows like Winver did. It's just gonna take you to settings. But how you're gonna do that? You have to go type in Winver here. You can't do about Windows. N V E R. I don't know that uh, my shop is decommissioning Windows 10 in October 14, 2025, and 22H2 will be the final version of Windows 10, which is here right now. And this is 22H2 that's on your computers, guys. That's the latest version that is on the computer for the final time before Windows 10 decommission. Um, I hope this was today's video. Um. Um, I'm going to sign out now. This is for today's episode, and thank you so much. I will, I'm doing well, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.